G'day folks, my name's Wayne, welcome back to MC News. Today we're going to be talking about gear. Uh, I get a lot of questions in terms of what sort of stuff do I wear, what sort of stuff do I recommend. Uh, so we're going to have a look through some stuff today uh, from helmets, gloves, jackets, pants and boots. Uh, we'll go through them one by one and tell you what I'm wearing and what I like about them. First off, we're going to start with the lid. Aero Commander lid, adventure lid. Uh, obviously, this is removable in terms of the peak. Visor is removable. You can fit a pair of goggles in the front here. Um, often, I will actually leave the visor on when I've got goggles, but uh, to be honest, most of the time I'll probably just leave that normal visor on because um, it's, it's pretty good and it's super convenient. Um, this is probably my favorite helmet that I've ever worn. It is the most comfortable helmet um, that I've ever worn. And I've probably worn this now for, in fact, I've probably had all this gear for, I reckon, got to be close to 100,000 Ks. So two or three years worth of riding for me. Um, yeah, lo love this helmet. This isn't a carbon jobby, so it's not as light as some of their other like motocross dirt bike helmets. But it's, uh, yeah, it's really quite nice just about due for replacement. In fact, most of this gear is getting towards the end of uh, its life. So hence the reason for doing a long-term review now. But yes, I would absolutely 100% get another one of these. Can recommend them, in fact, can't recommend them enough. Super comfortable, nice and quiet really too. Plenty good ventilation. Uh, and I love the fact that, yeah, you can really easily remove that peak. Uh, and I, yeah, I, I kind of wear this as a, a road uh, road bike kind of helmet as well. At times, you will have seen some pictures of me wearing this on things like Harleys and sports tours and various other bikes as well, so not just adventure bikes, but yeah, very much recommended. Let's talk gloves while we're at it. There's two main pairs of gloves that I've got here that I'll show you today, um, and really, they're both from Five. Uh, really a lightweight summer glove, more dirt bike, off-road type stuff. Now, I know there's a lot of people, Trev included, that really just likes to wear almost like motocross gloves, even when they're on the road. That's probably not me. I prefer a little bit more protection if I'm gonna be punting harder, but these are great in summer. Love these. Um, what are they? They're just called advanced gloves, but um, yeah, pretty pretty, uh, pretty good value. Uh, great, super comfortable, nice and grippy, good ventilation through there. I wear these a lot when I'm out and about on the adventure bike. In the winter time, however, I do wear these. So these are their uh, TFX Adventure Gloves, uh, again, from Five. Um, interesting little buckle system, not really buckle, kind of double Velcro system on these. Um, these fit pretty well, probably not as comfortable as these ones, but these are definitely worth a shot. Keep you nice and warm, they're well insulated, pretty waterproof, you know. Um, obviously they are Gore-Tex gloves, so you know about as waterproof as gloves can get. Uh, but yeah, I like those ones too. Um, Boots wise, big fan of these. So in terms of on road, road bike type of stuff, these are from XPD, these are their XP3S. Um, now XPD, if you don't know, uh, Italian mob, uh, really good quality, super, super duper um, fit on these, really comfortable, good for, actually pretty good for walking around in it. Um, even like, I've, at times I've gone down to Phillip Island for instance and walked around these. Uh, all day in them. It's not the ideal walking around all day sort of shoe as most boots aren't but these are pretty comfortable about as comfy as they get. These are my commuting boot so every day that I ride into the city I'll be wearing these, wear them into the office, take them off, swap my shoes when I get to the office but um, yeah these are good jiggers. Now the other ones that I've got here that I've also had for probably the longest of all my gears, gears, the longest of all my gear, uh, so the A-Stars Toucan Adventure boot Super boot, awesome boot. Really sturdy in the sole, um, good protection around your ankle um, and, and your shin there as well. So they've got the double the double buckle down here and the Velcro on the side. Um, yeah, Gore-Tex as well, I should mention. The, the water, you can't go swimming in these things because obviously the water will get in the top and it will get sort of, it will seep its way through those sort of the side. But yeah, really good quality stuff. Um, again, I've probably had these for, four or five years now, um, and they're still going super strong. So they're, they're still really good. Um, but I should talk about, about these. So my main jacket, um, so this is a motor drawer. I'm gonna take this off so I can show you. 
motor dry adventure jacket. Uh, again, this is a couple of, well, I was gonna say a couple of years, but almost 100,000 Ks old or more. Great ventilation. Uh, it's a three layer jacket. Some people don't like three layer jackets. I actually quite like them um, because it means that I can put a thermal in when it's really cold, take that out, uh, which also means then that in the summertime or if I'm you know, gonna get a bit rowdy, I can throw my body armor underneath because obviously I don't have that thermal liner in. So it's extra space in there. So it works for me. I really quite like them. So it's got integrated uh, armor, both in the back and the shoulder and the elbows. Heaps and heaps of ventilation, as I said, um, in, the, in the back, in the arms, in the chest, like all this stuff actually, yeah, all this stuff can fold down uh, and be mesh so you get lots and lots of ventilation in summer when it's hot. So yeah, as I said, three layers, you've got your outer layer, which is, I'm gonna say shower proof, um, and I occasionally will spray it with a water, waterproof spray to actually, yeah, make it a little bit more shower proof. Uh, it then also has a waterproof layer inside that, and then I'll run a thermal underneath that if I have to. I reckon I probably only run with the thermal, I'm gonna say maybe two or three weeks a year down here in Victoria. Other than that, it's pretty much just the waterproof liner and the outer. Um, and then in summer, like, like it is now, I'll just run with the outer um, pretty much all the time. So yeah, I've really enjoyed this. The only thing that I think, uh, oh, it does have a good storage pocket in the back there too, that I can throw stuff like uh, GoPros and camera equipment, that sort of stuff in there, really nice. Um, yeah, the only negative thing that I would say about this, and maybe they've improved it in later models since then, is the actual zip connector with the, the pants at the back can be a little bit fiddly at times, and it only sort of connects along the back there, but that's really the only gripe I've got about this uh, this jacket at all. Um, quite like that, would happily have, an, have another one. Um, and really the pants to go with it, um, yeah, not much that I can say about the pants other than good side impact protection in the hip there, like most of these decent quality, um, you know, uh, touring adventure type jacket pants will have these days. Plenty of good ventilation in there, super comfy, knee protection, um, and the same sort of deal in terms of three layers on the pants as well. I will more often than not actually not run the thermal in the pants and just run it in the jacket. I, personally, I find that just the, the outer and the waterproof layer are fine uh, for me. But yeah, that's all my, my gear that I run pretty much all the time. I've had most of it, as I said, for probably two and a half, nearly three years, with the exception of the, the two cam boots that are longer than that. We've nearly done 100,000 Ks on those now in that time. Um, and we're just about up for, yeah, just about up for a new set of kit. So I thought I'd do this extra long-term review to answer some of the questions that we get. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of, that's my gear, that's what I wear. I would definitely recommend any and all of that. Um, yeah, so that's to answer some of those questions. But yeah, thank you all again for your support. Uh, like and subscribe, share, all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.